Lee Baker of the Clarion Ledger stated it best, a career which began nearly 60 years ago on a wintry outdoor court in the Mississippi Delta, culminates July 1st with Margaret Wade's induction into the Basketball Hall of Fame. This evening, Margaret Wade certainly must remember that first game in junior high when she wore gloves and a tobacco hat. In 1977, as a lasting memorial to this fine lady, the Margaret Wade Trophy was created. It honors the nation's most outstanding women's collegiate basketball player. I think in our audience we have the first recipient of the Margaret Wade Trophy, Carol Blazowski. Is she here? Is Carol here? Carol, stand up There you go. First, Margaret Wade is without question the mother of big time women's collegiate basketball. Coaching basketball has been her life since 1933. During the following years, she has had the opportunity to be part of and witness the evolution of women's athletics. And throughout her life, she has always instilled in her athletes a positive attitude. Margaret Wade's a lovely gal from Cleveland, Mississippi, won all-star honors as a student at Delta State in soccer, basketball, tumbling, and track. After 19 years as a coach at Cleveland High School, where she won 453 games, she was called back to her alma mater in 1973 and 74 to develop a women's basketball program at Delta State. In her six years as a collegiate coach, she won 157 games and three successive national championships. When she retired, the Nashville Commercial Appeal, in an eight-column head, stated, and he begins, Margaret Way, she made Dallas State a winning model in women's basketball. And so, Margaret Way, by virtue of your election by the Honors Committee, by authority invested in me by the trustees of the Nation of the Royal Basketball Hall of Fame, I have the distinguished honor to enshrine you as a great coach in the Basketball Hall of Fame with all of its rights and privilege and our great congratulations. members of the Basketball Hall of Fame and to friends of basketball. Uh, I was talking to Lee Williams about three weeks ago and I said, what shall I talk about? And I want you to know that he talked to me about 15 minutes on what to say and how to say it. And uh, then he said, you have that four or five minutes. There was no way that I could say what he did in that length of time. So, uh, and looking over the program, I noticed that the lady who made the rules of basketball uh, would be just the thing for me. And I, I, I'll also bring in what Lee told me to. Uh, I'm going to tell you about that first game that we played. And it was cold, and it was outside, and uh, this was in 27, 1927. <laughs> and uh, they had lined the court properly, it was pure lime. Uh, there were no bleachers, and the court was divided into three divisions, two guards, two sons, and two followers. You couldn't step over the line either way, of course, because the violation of the team out of bounds. And uh, the game was started with jump ball. After every basket, it was jump ball. Uh, then uh, I think that three fouls, three personal fouls, disqualified. A combination of three 
personals and two technicals would disqualify. I don't know how they work that in. Uh, but this game was played there at least for that. And um, then uh, finished, I went through or to Delta State University. That was it was in Cleveland too. By the way, I like the table from Cleveland and Mississippi, Delta State and whatever else. Our table, my table to stand up. I mentioned one, he's the president of the university, Dr. Kent White. Uh, another one at that table uh, played on a basketball team, and you've seen her pushing me around all the time. Uh, she had no other choice. Uh, Alice Richardson, her husband. Uh, another young lady out there, Margaret Wade from New York. And uh, the two SIDs that really put the thing on for me. Uh, Langston Rogers, who has gone to Ole Miss now, and uh, uh, Joey Carrero, what do you say? Also out there is L.A. Another one is Dr. Larry Thornton, who is a member of the Delta State faculty. Uh, president of the Alumni Association is U.S. Walker. By the way, he had an alumni meeting <laughs> not far from here the other night, Westfield. Uh, uh, it just so happened that Westfield and Delta State exchanged students. All right. I hope I didn't leave that anybody did. Okay. All right, back, back to that basketball game, my going to Delta State. Uh, we played, I guess, uh, for a couple of years, and then I was called in by the president, and he said, uh, I want you to tell everybody out there that we're quitting girls basketball. And I said, why? And he said, well, uh, it's too hard on the girls. That I didn't buy, but this one was sensible. He said uh, that he couldn't make uh, schedules because everybody else was quitting. So, they discontinued basketball and they'll sleep. <coughs> and I met with the team. We had our uniforms. We burned. Uh, we're very unhappy, but just to be honest, the uniforms weren't too pretty anyway. <laughs> Not the big boomers, but you know, the medium-sized boomers. 